Well, it seems ever since D23 that Disney is on a bit of a roll in terms of announcing things coming to their parks. Some things have gone over better than others, especially when considering what is being taken away from the park for some of these things that Disney has announced. And yesterday, Disney made an announcement of yet another villains-themed attraction that is going to be coming to the park. So we're going to go through that and talk about it. So hi, I'm Jared with Capture the Magic. So Disney Parks blog here is a new villain show coming to Disney's Hollywood Studios in the summer of 2025. Uh, but I like this article a little bit better from WDW Magic as it goes into a little bit more detail here. So we're going to read through this. So uh, the new Disney villain show is replacing the Lightning McQueen Racing Academy in Hollywood Studios in 2025. So Disney's Hollywood Studios is set to introduce a new live entertainment experience centered around Disney villains in the summer of 2025. Now, this very much goes in line with what we had been hearing is that essentially Disney's plan when it comes to combating Epic Universe next summer is shows and parades. And it, uh, we have already saw that they're doing a nighttime parade at Magic Kingdom. And now they've added this show. They're probably going to be adding more shows. These are things that are they can put together pretty quickly, doesn't cost a lot of money. So these are things that they can, you know, I suppose, offer to try and entice people next summer. The new show will take place at the Sunset Showcase located on Sunset Boulevard and will feature dozens of iconic Disney villains. According to Disney Live Entertainment, the production will be staged in the setting of the Magic Mirror's Mysterious Realm, a reflective environment designed to bring guests closer to some of Disney's most notorious villains. Characters such as Cruella de Vil, Captain Hook, and Maleficent are confirmed to make appearances as they break through the glass to take the stage in live production numbers. So that the fact that it's live, I think, is a good thing. So currently, the Lightning McQueen Racing Academy, uh, it's just a, it's basically just an animatronic show that just runs sort of on autopilot, and there's no uh, human interaction, there's no live performance aspect to it. Uh, Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy is scheduled to close on October 7th, 2024, making way for the construction needed for the upcoming villains themed production. Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy opened in March 2019, themed around the popular Pixar Cars franchise, and featured a life-size animatronic Lightning McQueen voiced by Owen Wilson. And to be fair, the, the animatronic in here with the cars is actually really good. You know, our son enjoys cars, so we've seen this show quite a bit. Uh, it, it's cute for what it is. It's just a very basic show, but the animatronic is pretty cool, and the show probably lasts yeah, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. It's it's just very much, it's back there by uh, Rock and Roller Coaster, doesn't get a lot of foot traffic. A lot of people don't even know it's there right now. So it'd be interesting to see how they may change sort of like getting the word out about this new show. In the show, guests are welcomed into a state-of-the-art racing simulator where Lightning McQueen appears on a 200-degree screen to share his racing expertise. The experience and includes high-energy sequences and a narrative where McQueen is challenged to a race against virtual competitors. Throughout the show, he is joined by characters like Mater and Cruz Ramirez who offer support and advice. Open in 2015, Sunset Showcase was designed to serve as a flexible location for a variety of events and entertainment offerings at Disney's Hollywood Studios. The venue was first introduced as the home for Club Disney, a dance party experience featuring Disney characters and interactive elements aimed at younger guests. Club Disney offered a colorful and lively atmosphere, complete with music, video projections, and activities, but it was short-lived and closed in 2016. After Club Disney, Sunset showcase hosted a range of limited time events before becoming lightning mcqueen's racing academy in 2019 including themed dance parties and special ticketed events including the club villain event which featured disney villains in a cabaret style show along with themed food and drinks so this area where lightning mcqueen racing academy currently is has been you know a few different things in the past now when it comes to the lightning mcqueen racing academy first off a lot of people don't even know about it it's not something that they promote much uh, and obviously it's very much geared toward kids but it is for what it is it's it's a it's a fine show it's like 10 15 minutes long the animatronic actually is really cool so on some level i'm sad to see that go but i definitely think like, you're not seeing the backlash about this because again i think this also goes into the car stuff going into magic kingdom Cars is not that popular of an IP. It's just really not. For the most part, it's not an IP that people are really clamoring about. So you're not hearing any backlash about this. Most people think that this is a good idea. I actually, again, given I think villains is one of the stronger things that Disney can play right now, like villains land and, you know, going into that, which has been something rumored to be more in the parks for a long time. So I actually think that this is a good move by them. I think this being a live action show, I, I think it'll be pretty popular back here. In terms of sustainability, I don't really know how long, you know, it'll be back here. I'm guessing it'll be here probably until Villains Land opens. 
Um, now, there was a comment by Scott Gustin on Twitter where he said, um, basically, it's a 15-minute drive from Hollywood Studios to Magic Kingdom, sort of implying that you know, Lightning McQueen Racing Academy could make its way over to Magic Kingdom. I guess there's a possibility that that could be the case. And you also could have it be the case with this, that this show eventually makes its way into Villain's Land when that is finished probably in like 2030, but it could make its way over there. But it does, again, lend to the fact that Disney is going to be using parades and shows as a, I guess, a way to combat Epic Universe, which I don't think this is going to deter anybody from going to Epic Universe. I think what they're doing, and I actually think it's fairly smart on their part, is playing into their audience of what they want. And what a lot of their audience wants are villains themed things, meet and greets, parades. They're giving their fan base what they want here with this stuff, I guess, in a way of maybe trying to prevent them from going over to Epic Universe or, you know, not going over there for very long. I think a lot, I don't think anything they're offering here is going to basically make people decide to go to Disney over Epic Universe if they're already interested in Epic Universe. It is something new. Again, these are cheap. They're quick. They, they can put them up relatively quickly. I mean, this is going down in October. It'll probably open up in the spring of 2025. So they can turn around these things fairly quickly. I won't be surprised if they have more announcements about shows coming uh, you may see a show in every park, probably as well as adding a nighttime show in Animal Kingdom. Probably the drone show that was over in Disney Springs is something they may be adding over to Animal Kingdom. So a lot more shows, a lot more parades or things you're probably likely going to see from Disney in the coming years. I would also venture to guess they're going to have some pretty aggressive discounts they're going to offer because they don't, again, they don't have anything in terms of attractions and new rides that they can really promote to sort of even combat Epic Universe and the stuff that they announced this year, D23. Again, you're not going to see this for the better part of five years or more. In my opinion, they don't really move very quickly on construction. But in this instance, I actually think this is a good move. You're replacing something that's really not that popular with something that I think is probably more popular. And given their recent backlash over the decisions to get rid of the Rivers of America and replace that with the Cars area and potentially the Monsters Inc. land replacing the Muppets area, you know, Disney has had a lot of backlash from the fan base about things that they're looking to add into the parks and really what they're taking away to add these things. But in this instance, I think this one is actually pretty balanced. I haven't really heard anybody really upset about this. Uh, again, our our kids enjoyed this show, but it's, you know, they're probably aging out of it a bit. Uh, it's a fine show, but I do think a villains-based show would be much more popular and probably will be a pretty decent draw into Hollywood Studios. So it seems until Villains Land is completed in Magic Kingdom to get your fill of villain stuff, you're probably looking over here at Hollywood Studios, uh, at least in the short term. But if you want to catch the Lightning McQueen Racing Academy, you have until October 7th to do so before it goes away and comes back as the villains-themed show here. But that's going to be it for this video. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel as we do lots of coverage here of Disney World, Epic Universe, Universe Universal Studios and pop culture. And let us know in the comments, do you think this villain themed show is a good idea? And do you think Disney's idea of shows and parades is a good one going into the summer of 2025? Until next time, we will see you in the parks.